Okay, are we back? Hello? Hello? Okay, Precious, are you there? Hello, who is there? Samuel, can you hear me? Hello, Samuel? Okay, Precious, you are back, please. Let's continue. So the first, the first, uh, the first uh, title, what will you say about the about the content? Okay, sir. From from what I got, you said you said you're asking whether it predicts the title, whether it predicts the, the content. content. Yes. So I think yes, it does. Okay. How I about interest? Does. How about interest? Is it interesting? Just read it. Again, for me, it's yourself. interesting. Okay, you say it's interesting. Okay, for me, it's interesting. Yes, sir. Okay, now the 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 does it reflect tone, the tone, the tone of the research? Is it clear mm. on tone? Benefits of reading. Yeah, it's clear. It's quite clear. The benefits of reading to Nigerian youth. It's clear. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, how about important keywords? The important keywords. Yes, it has the keywords which is reading and then specifically to Nigerian youth. Okay, so according to pressures, is yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's have another person who is there again. Who will go for the second uh, title? Who will go for the second title? Anybody? Chigozie? Ivan? Chigozie Ivan? Anybody? Okay, Samuel. Samuel? No. Okay, good. Go for the second. Attempt the second something. What do you think about the content? Does that try to predict content? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Your view is no for this. Okay. Okay, how about yes. interest? Is it interesting? Is the topic interesting? I don't think so. It's also not interesting to me. Okay, good. Number three, does it reflect tune? Yes, yeah, somehow. Okay. Okay. So the last one, keywords, important keywords. Best grades. Yes, I think I can see an important keyword there. Best grades. Okay. Okay. So, who is the last person there that will help us? The next one, social media impacts. I want this to be participatory. That's the only way you can learn. Who is the next person there? Who is going to help us? Okay, so I'll go again. Okay, Precious, go ahead. Social media. Social media impacts. Yes, it predicts content. Okay. Then it's interesting. It reflects tone. 
but I don't think it has like the important keywords, like everything that is needed. Okay, it doesn't have the okay. So, Samuel, since we are the one there, let's go for the last one because of our time. Okay, um, it's on the moment. Yeah, it predicts the contents, and then it's also interesting to the reader. Uh, Reflecting the tone of the writing. It also reflects the tone of the writing. And finally, thank you. It's there are also important keywords there as well. Okay. 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 So um What do you think? I want you to look at it. What do you think? Do you disagree with any of them? Wow. <laughs> do you disagree with any of the points and why? Okay, good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Who is there contributing? You are it's welcome. I, it's it's yes. Ivan, sir. Okay, hi, Ivan. Go ahead, please. Make contribution okay. to what we're saying here. So, okay, sir. So I personally feel that the social media impact under predicting the content, I actually feel that it's partial, it partially does because social media right now is kind of versatile Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Okay. Opinion on on each of them. So personally, predicting the content should, for me, I would say yes, and also I would say it's interesting as well, because you want to hear from different people. Different people have their opinion. Okay. On, different okay. people have their opinion on each. Okay. Good. The social media. Good. We have. I think you don't understand the context I was talking. I think you quite misunderstood me, or and the the the, the class is not the. The presentation is not, uh, there's no understanding of what I'm trying to get at. Let's go back to that slide. The previous slide, I said, number one, it should predict the content of the research paper. Okay. When you see the topic, okay. When I say predict content, content is measured by four things. Okay. Which I'm going to, uh, okay, let's do it this way. Let, let me flow to the front to tell you what content means. Look at this slide, okay? Number one, see topic, see method, and then you have sample, and then you have results, okay? These four measures describe the full content of your research, which would normally be captured in your topic. Is that okay? which should be captured in your title, the topic. The topic is essentially the focus. That's why I said I was going to differentiate between the title of your research and the topic of your research. The topic of your research may be social media, but what is the title? The title could be the impact of social media on the academics of University of Nigerian students. Do you understand that? So when you talk about content, the content should give detailed information on the topic, on the method, the sample. Your sample is the target population, University of Nigeria students. Okay? And we are talking about the impact on the academics. You get the concept. So let's go back again. Number one, I said predict the content. Number two, I said it should be interesting. Interesting, I'm not necessarily talking about how much interesting the topic is. I'm talking about the way the topic is constructed. Okay? There are times you go to, you go to the, maybe a bookshop. 
Men looking at the title of a book, you want to read that book. You are interested in football, okay? And football becomes a topic. But somebody can capture or can draft the topic of a book on football and it becomes attractive for you to read. That is the interest I'm talking about. The way the title is written, does it provoke interest for you to read it? In other words, is it, does it provoke your interest? Is it provocative in interest? Okay? For instance, you saw a book that talks about the destructive power of drug addiction. Okay? There's a way that topic, that title of the book is written, that makes you interested might be okay. I okay. Let me let me recast this. That's something again. Number one, I say the destructive end of drug addicts. Okay, and let's assume somebody else put it this way: drug addiction can destroy. You know, one is on the low key, one is on the high key. The high key provoke interest. That is the concept I'm trying to convey here. I don't know if you get my point, Ivan. Ivan, do you get the concept? Yes, I do. So it's not only to have an interesting topic, but the title should be interesting. Okay? Somebody can write a book on love. And many people want to read it. Another person can write a book with love as part of the title. And nobody is interested. It all depends on how the, the title is written. I don't know. Do I make sense? Am I making any sense to you at all? Um. Okay, sir. I'm with you. Boy, I have a question. Like, okay, remember we are talking about pre predicting the content, like the content of what I'm to write on. If I write a title, social media impact. Hmm. Anybody can want to read it to know whether it's the positive impact or negative impact. Like, the I think the content that is just talking about social media, that was why I was thinking that Ivan being correct on partially predicting the content, though fully, I know that it does not have that keyword, as you mentioned. If somebody which wrote, impact are we okay. About? okay, go ahead, Precious. Which impact are we talking about? Is it on educational system or is it on... Hey, hey, that's so where we are that's... talking about. That's exactly where I'm yeah. going. You know, we are talking about research top title now. We are not just talking about you, I mean, engaging in a discussion somewhere. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the philosophy of writing research title. Your research title must be such that the content of that, that research is visible by mere looking at your title. And I define title as the topic, your sample, your method, and your results. So I want you to look at this from contextual perspective. Do you understand? Like I said, yes, sir. It's you can write. Somebody can write love. Everybody knows love is a good topic to discuss. Am I right? Or marriage is a good topic to discuss. Okay. But when you go to the light, to the bookshop to buy a book on marriage, there is a way the author of that book will, 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 will phrase that particular title of the book that will be provocative for you to buy than another book on marriage. Do you agree with me? But record the two books on marriage. Am I right? So it simply means that Somebody may, be, may put social media impact. Impact on what? What exactly? It keeps you at sea. It doesn't give you detailed information on what that research is all about. Okay? There are so many writing on social media impacts. The question is, what concept of impact are you talking about? And on what set of people are you talking about? Do you understand what we're saying here? So, the content is measured by the topic itself, okay? And also the sample, the focus, the target population. Who are you studying? University of Nigerian students. 
And number three, I talked about the method. Which method are you using? And the results. So these are very key things when you write research topic. And number two, I said it should be interesting. Okay? And it's still in the same line that a topic should provoke interest. For instance, I did a, my, I did, sometimes ago, I did my proposal on my PhD proposal. Okay? And you know, missing the topic of that proposal alone, many lecturers wanted to be in that particular seminar. I hope you are all listening to me. They wanted to be in that seminar because the way I coined the topic, it provoked interest. I put it this way. I said, animal disease surveillance in Nigeria and the impact of email uh, reporting system, Android application system, and all that. So because, number one, I'm bringing two things together, and the way I cast that particular topic, it provoked interest to the point that even someone that has not known me wanted to know who is that candidate I wanted to present. Do you understand what I'm saying? But probably that is not the first time somebody is working on that field of research. But the way I put my own actually triggered interest of many of the lecturers, they wanted to be in that seminar to see it. In fact, after I finished the presentation, they were saying, no, this your work is unique. The way you even coined the thing is so unique that even people that are not interested to come, they want to come. Do you get what I'm saying now, Precious? So it must provoke interest. Okay? So let's go back to that question again. So when you look at it, in terms of content, Social media impacts. The detail of what we mean, the context of content is not met here. Social media impact. That was social media impact. It can be the topic of a book. But we are talking of the title of a research. Okay? It can even be the headline of a newspaper. But the topic of a research, the, the content is defined by those metrics I've mentioned to you. I hope that is clear. Now, when you look at the last one, predicting content, of course, it gives us the content. And of course, the interest, the moment you see youth on the move, it gears you up to be interested. Where are they moving to? Okay? And then you have the keywords there. So, again, the content is measured by the topic, the method, the sample, and the results. Now, let's have this example as a formula for constructing your title, okay? Number one, you have a dash, a method to be included, topic, and sample, okay? You have this example, impact of meditation on student performance a quantitative study of mindfulness among the University of Nigerian students. Are you still there? Are you with me? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Okay, good. Impact of meditation on students' performance. A quantitative study of mindfulness among the University of Nigerian students. So that, that's the guide on how you can construct your title. Now, again, I told you that title can also be viewed from the perspective, the focus of that particular title, that study. And that, on that basis, we divide title into three formats. We have the declarative title, the descriptive title, the interrogative title. You have... For the interrogative uh, declarative title, that one states the main findings or conclusions. For example, a three-month weight loss program increases self-esteem in adolescence girl. This is a declaration. Okay? It's a declaration in form of an hypothesis self. It made a declaration and that becomes a title. It could be descriptive. Okay? 
In this case, the article may be interested in giving a description of a subject. For example, effect of family supports on patients with dementia. That is descriptive. You are looking at the effects of family supports on patients with dementia. And number three, you have interrogative, which are otherwise referred to as investigative titles. Now, in this case, this one introduced subject in form of a question. Does cognitive training improve performance on pattern recognition task? That's a form of interrogation. Okay, so these are the three, the three, the three types of title we can as well have. Now, let's have the following tips that will help you in effective paper writing, uh, paper title writing. Number one, avoid unnecessary words and, and jargon. Number two, you keep the title statement as concise as possible. Unnecessary words. I'm going to give you an example of unnecessary words. Unnecessary phrases. And even jargons. You don't bring in big grammar that people cannot uh, understand to your title. You must avoid it as much as possible. Except if it is a register in that your field of study and it is critical for you to quote it. Okay? But it must be a familiar topic to some extent. Okay? Now, you keep the title statement as concise as possible. And number three... You want a title that will be comprehensive to everybody who are not even experts on your field. And by rule of thumb, it is recommended that your title should be between 5 and 15 words. Okay? Sometimes some journals will tell you 50 to 100 characters and nothing more. Now, the shorter the title, the better the citation of an article when it is published. Okay? Now, let's look at this scenario, a situation whereby you have too long title. Okay, this is usually the case where you have unnecessary word, like I mentioned the other time, in your construct. Like, you avoid word like a study to investigate, an examination of D. Now, the usual, the reality is that when you look at these phrases hmm, that many at times people use, they are very obvious. We know you are conducting a study. So there's no need for you to call it a study of or a study to investigate or an examination of. Except this is very, very critical to show maybe the scope or the intent or even the type of your study. Now we're going to, maybe another opportunity we have, I'm going to tell you the different types of study we have, more importantly in biomedical science. The case control study, the cohort study, the cross-sectional study, we have different types of study, experimental, explorative study, and we look at all those things because it will help you to have clear perspective when you do research. Very, very important. And this is an opportunity for you that are not yet in final year. You're already having a first-hand idea of how to generate your project topic. Okay? Now, we also have a scenario whereby you can have two short titles. It's possible to have two short titles, like the case of social media impacts. It is, it is short, and hence it did not convey detailed information to the reader. So two short titles occur when you use words that are too broad, and sometimes the reader will not understand the essence of the study. Like when you have a paper titled African Politics. What is African Politics? The title could be the title of a book, and it's so ambiguous that you could not even refer to anything associated with politics. You could refer to anything rather that is associated with politics. So, but this time around, we are talking about a research title. A book title, the rule governing writing a book title is different from a research title. The rule governing writing the title of an essay is different from a research title. Otherwise, when you I don't publish, uh, you, when you are at the point of publishing the work, the journal editor will be very important, interested in the title. Some people can't even move forward when they get to the point of the title. The journal editor look at the looks at the title and says, no, 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 this title is not, uh, it's not the type you want. It doesn't fit into the context of a research title. That is why you need to pay attention to this. Okay? So understand that's what you call 
when you say research title, it comes with a contest. Okay? It is not essay title. It is not book title. It's not even play title. Research title is conceptualized. And you must understand the context of writing the research title. So a good title should provide information about the focus and the scope of your studies. So when somebody wrote social media impacts, the focus may be there, but the scope of the study is missing. So now let's take this tip. Number one, use descriptive phrase to convey the purpose of your research efficiently. Usually you don't write in full sentence. A research title is not a sentence. It's not even a statement. It's more, it's usually a phrase that is coined in such a way that can convey a, a clear focus of that your research. Okay? Now, I also talk about uniqueness. Okay? Because when it comes to writing title, there are specification by journal, by university on how your title should flow. The numbers of words. For those of you that are in final year, it's important you find out what is the maximum number of words that my title cannot go beyond. Okay? Very, very important. There are some journals, they will specify the number of character, the type of spacing you should put when you write title. Okay? So it's important you get familiar with the requirement. That is if you are doing a research. Maybe you are doing your final year project. You must be acquainted with what is the guideline for writing topic. Okay? And when you write research outside the university and you want to publish it, you must familiarize yourself with the journal. What are the specifications of the journal? Okay. So usually every journal has what you call author's guide. It will tell you the numbers of words, how the title should be, the number of character. Now let's look at this exercise as we round up. Okay. Are you still with me? Can you still hear me? Hello. I can hear you, sir. Okay, good. So I'm with you. this is like what I call. I'm with you. Okay, good. Good. So this is what I call an initial working title. It's like giving a full detail in form of sentence of what the researchers want to accomplish. Now, when you look at it, we have we employed a case study of 60 liver transplant patients around the US age 20 to 50 years to assess how waiting list volume affects the outcome of liver transplantation in patients. Results indicate a positive correlation between increased waiting list volume and negative prognosis after the transplant procedure. Now, this looks more like a, 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 somebody that is trying to give a final draft of his research title. So, the work we have now within the next few minutes is to see how we can we can we can trim down this particular title to what is acceptable okay so let's start with uh, let me start with Samuel Samuel comment on one thing or the other that we should remove from here Samuel Okay, press. Can I hear you? I'm trying to check words. Okay, okay. Okay, go ahead. Precious. Anybody can jump in and make comments. Just comment on that topic. What are those things we should prune down or cut off from this in the process of trying to perfect this? Okay. We have about 10 minutes. Okay. So this thing wants um, to shut down again. 
Oh, yeah. Okay. So I can say um, the effects of waiting list. No, let, let's try to pull it down. Try to pull it down. Tell me things I should remove. Okay, so I think you can should, we should remove the... Uh, okay. okay. I think you should remove, we employ the case study of, since we already know that we are carrying out a story, there is no need of putting that statement there. Good. Good. Any other thing? Okay, let's, let's, because of our time, let's go to the next slide. Now look at this. Look at this. Can, can you see the first step? So waiting this volume. Okay. I think we should, we should just remove employed first. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So you can see, you can see this is how, how title is actually edited. This is practical editing of title. You can see how we employ is crossed out. You can see how V is removed. But when you count this thing, hmm? When you count it, you see discover that the number of words are still more than the necessary. Okay? When you count it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. And recall I said... Try to limit yourself to between 5 and 15 words. So this is 35 words. It means we have a lot of work to still do on this. Now let's have this. After removing all those ones, this is what we have. But it's still 38. So, Samuel, what else can we remove again? And you can recast some of these things. Okay, just to save us the time, okay, to remove again, see this. Look at this. Okay. A case study of liver transplant, 60 is removed. And when you remove that, what do you have? You have 19 words still left. But don't forget we are going to 15. <laughs> So this is how, in practical terms, how you, 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 you edit your research title. You keep crossing out, but yet the content, the main focus must not be crossed out. Oh. You know, liver transplant is like the main focus. Even though we remove 60, it doesn't affect it. Am I right? Do you understand? So let's go. No, I don't understand. Now look at this. Look at this. Assessing the impact of waiting list volume on outcome and prognosis in liver transplant patients. Can you see? Number one, we have the, the liver transplants as the topic. Okay? And our goal is to assess the impact of the waiting list volume. Okay? And then we want to check on the outcome and prognosis, which is our result. Our target population is the liver transplantation patients. That's the people we are focused, this research is focused on. Just like when you say the study is focused on University of Nigerian students. I don't know if this is uh, clear enough to us. But like I said, you see, uh, coming up with a title is a product of experience. It's something you keep doing, you do, and you have been corrected a number of times before you can become good at it. Okay? So, what I want you to do, okay, as an assignment, the topic you guys submitted to me you are going to use that template. You will use the template, this template. I'm going to send this 
slides to you. You will use these templates, okay? You will list all the topics on the first column. And then you will assess them for content, interest, tone reflection, and keywords. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Good. Yes, sir. So that, that will be a kind of practice. And... um. When you do that, you can you can you you put it in word. You can put it in word and send it to me, in the visual, each of you, and I'll look at it, and I can then we can then discuss it, or I can just record a video that uh, summarizes the whole thing and send to you. I hope we have achieved our goals for tonight, in terms of topics. Yes, sir. Good, because yes, we are sir. still going to begin to discuss how to come up with generate research hypothesis. How do you generate research hypothesis? How do you write research question? What do you mean by research objective? These are things we are going to be discussing in our subsequent classes. So is there any question before we go? Any question before we go? No, you know, you mentioned um... As part of the characteristics of a good research title, that we should know the right keyword. Now, my question is, how do we know the right keyword? Or should we just assume that this should be the right keyword? Like, is there a rule to it? Okay. Um, the concept of keywords talks about words that make your research unique. Okay? Now, let's go to one of these examples I highlighted before. And look at the case of that why mindful students makes the best great. Okay? Those words, why? Mindful. Make the best great. These are common words we use in our day-to-day -day conversation. They don't... You see, for those of you that uh, understand what we call... Um, how many of you understand what we call... Uh, uh, website optimization. Do you understand what we mean by website optimization? Yeah. Is it um, SEO? Yes, SEO. Or let me use this one. That may not be too familiar with everybody. You know, sometimes you make a post on X and you want to do hashtag and you want to pick certain keyword that is so unique. It's not just the commonly used words around that makes that your research unique, not the why, the make, the article, you understand? Something that can bring out that topic as a unique topic. That is where the concept of keyword comes in. Okay? That's where the concept of keyword comes in. You know, in secondary school, we do what we call register. How many of you are familiar with uh, that teaching in English? When you talk of register, certain words that are associated with certain field of thought. Yes, sir. Yes, uh -huh. sir. It's something of that nature. We call it register. When you are talking of uh, commerce, there are certain words that are registered to commerce mm -hmm. that are not often used in other parlance, like transaction like inflation are you getting it in economics do you understand these are like registered ah. word in that field so when you are understanding in a particular field look for certain register word in that field not jargon necessarily but they are register word in that field that makes your topic unique do you get what i'm saying hello Yes, I, I know what you said. Good. So that's the concept of the keyword. <laughs> so this class is uh, shutting down. So uh, if there's any more questions, just put it, send it to me. I will respond to those questions so that we don't have to start a new section on this uh, Zoom again. Uh, all right. Thank you very much for your time.